Anita is accusing me of molesting my son, something I didn't do. Anita said I gave my son oral sex and performing other sexual activities on him. She also accused me of choking my son, physically hitting him, physically abusing him. No, I don't think my son was molested at all. I think she's making this up because of the anger and hate she got towards me. I feel like my son is being coached because the first time I spoke to him on the phone, he was telling me, Daddy, I miss you, come get me. And then later on that day when I finally called him back, he's telling my son, Daddy, why you touch me? And I'm like, where did you get this from? And then she just grabbed the phone from him and the conversation was over. The only way he could have known this is because Anita was telling him to say this. I feel like Anita is trying to kick me out of my son's life so she could start a new family with her boyfriend now. Right now, I'm missing everything that my son is doing in school. I'm missing everything about him. I miss him, I love him, I wish I could see him again. The fact that Anita is using my son against me is making me angry. I feel devastated because I can't see my son at all. I can't even talk to him on the phone from time to time. Anita needs to know that I never abused my son nor molested him in any type of way. She should let me be a father to my son instead of keeping me out of my son's life. I would never abuse my son because I love him and that's my baby boy, that's my only son. Why do you think Sebastian molested your son? Because at the time I was pregnant, my relative came and said my son humped her. And I asked him, where did he learn that from? He said, Daddy. So we called his dad, and his dad was on speaker. At this time, I wasn't thinking molested. I thought he like saw something or he watched something or something. So we called him, and then Sebastian got on the phone and my son started crying, like shaking, crying, and I'm like, you know, he doesn't do that usually. So I automatically hung up the phone and I asked him what's going on. He's like, Daddy spanks me when I don't know my colors. So I when, was, when he doesn't do what? I know his colors, like oh, doing his colors. Know his colors. So I said, like he st no, he started like smacking his face and he's like smacking his butt and then he smacked his penis. So I said, well, what does that do to your penis? He didn't like have the words. So I grabbed like this toy and I said, show me. And he's like poking at the toy and like the And I'm like, that's it. And he said, So I text Sebastian and I said, what he's telling me about you doesn't make any sense. Automatically, he's defending himself. You know he's a liar. You know um, he has a foul mouth. Like, why are you saying this about your son? Like. You know? And he's a very young boy. Like, he, yeah. so I didn't even, but he, the thing about it is I didn't even tell him what he said. So I had to, like, relax because earlier that year I had a miscarriage, so I didn't want to lose this baby. So I, like, went in the tub, relaxed, put my son to sleep, and then I was, like, up all night researching, like, you know. So you're pregnant during this time? Yeah, I was seven months. Okay. So I was, like, you know, up researching, like, and everything says, like, kids don't lie and, like, I didn't see any red flags, like, you know, bedwetting or anything like that, but he was real clingy towards me. And I woke my relative up so we could go to the police and to make a report because, like, you know, I have to do something about this. So we went there, they interviewed me and my relative, and then from there we went to the hospital to get him exam. It was no physical evidence, no And they had the social workers come in and they asked, like, asked him like when you do something bad how does daddy what does daddy do and he's like that this is my first time hearing he said he chokes and punches me and he said this to the social worker and that's my first time he said that to me too and they asked like what do i do and he said mommy puts me in time out so they're like okay well, well we'll come to your house and we'll keep the case going i did not molest my son I don't so know why, he, why are you saying this sebastian i have no idea you making he, this up I did I'm not not, how am i making it up what I am i making up sebastian son. don't i, I buy son. you gross i buy no, you groceries no, to I go lived, to his I lived house with you for three years right all right but the thing you, right? about it moved, is well, listen I, listen listen no, listen let me talk i moved in with you 2009 right we planted our son in 2010, okay, right? Okay, go ahead. He was born in 2010, right? Okay. I, plan, I spent time with him. I lived with you. I moved out y'all in 2013, right? Okay. Ever since we broke out, everything went downhill, right? No, it's been downhill. Sudden, now all of a sudden, I'm molesting my son. I, and now I, he's four I years old. I asked you. Now I I'm molesting you. him. Really? And then I asked you before. Really? I said, if you take the lie detector test, you could go pay for it, take it. If you and pass said, it, I, you said you was going to do it. Yeah, Did you right? ever get the money? Not called, you said, right? out of here. I'm not doing You didn't save up for it. I don't it. have no money. I don't have no money. You didn't say, I said save up for it. I would give you the money back. I just want to know the truth, right? Yeah. And I've been so nice. I could have I could have been knocking at your door, screaming at you. No, I've been so nice because if any, if it was anybody else, I would really, I don't know what I would do to them. 
No, it's a simple fact that you he think I'm doing this to my son. With it's not, if he, he, he tells me this, this, I told you. He if he would have came up to you and said, Mommy's doing this, I would want you to go 10 times harder. You talked about living with me. That has nothing to do with it. Now, all of a sudden, 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 I have no idea. All of a sudden, we broke up. Because you're telling him to say this. I'm not. What am I doing? You're telling him to say this. I was telling him to say this. You're telling him to say this. I don't have no idea. I have no idea. Did you molest your son? No. No. Any idea why your young son, who's at an age that can verbalize himself very well, why he would say that? And, and you know, I'm not just saying, Daddy touched me. He's describing in detail what you did to him. I have or no what, idea where you get this from. I think she's telling him to say this. To be but honest. why? I mean, she makes a good point. She's moved on. It's not like she wants you back. She's with this new guy, Vincent. She has a child with him. At the time this allegation came up, she's pregnant. What would she gain by making this up against you? I have no idea, but I think she's making this up. She, she even you know, says she, she wants you involved in her son's life. She says she's sitting here almost in tears saying she wants you to pass. She doesn't want you to fail. I mean, when she says that, I believe her. I think she really wants you to pass. I am going to pass because I'll do nothing like that to my son. I've been with her for like four years. Um, have you ever choked or hit your son using no. excessive force? No. We play fight and everything like that. Like I was telling the diapers lady. And the charges were dropped? I never had no charges against me. Well, with the allegations, the case was yeah. dropped? Yes. Uh, and, and why was it dropped, do you they think? They said that it wasn't no evidence. There was no evidence. What do you hope happens today? I hope I pass. But I know I'm mean, going to pass. What do you mean you hope you pass? You should just be like, I am going to pass. I am going to pass. <laughs> I understand you just recently had a child with her, right? Yeah. Uh, how's your feelings about Anita? About her? Yeah. I love her. You love her? Yeah. Uh, and, and her little boy that she had with Sebastian, what's your feelings about him? I love him too. Do you see anything in him that you believe that maybe he was molested? Why would he keep saying that, though? Why, why? And you heard him say this? I walked in. He wouldn't say it to me personally. Right. I don't think he's comfortable. Right. But I heard him say it. You heard him say it to yeah, his mom? Yeah. Uh, and what did he say to his mom? Man, daddy, daddy be touching me. He just started acting different. What would happen if Sebastian were to fail his lie detector test? Uh, I mean, it would be very, yeah. I think, very different. I mean, you're living there, and you're helping take care of the son. But I think it, if, if Sebastian were to fail, I think this is going to devastate Anita, right? Yes. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Cool. And we asked you, Anita, are you fabricating the story of Sebastian molesting his son? And you answered no. We asked you, are you coaching your son into saying that he was sexually molested by Sebastian? And you answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that uh, both results came back the same, and it came back that you, Anita, told the truth. <laughs> Sebastian came here, and we gave him a lie detector test, and we asked him, other than popping on the hand. Have you ever hit your son? You answered no. Have you ever choked your son? And you answered no. Have you ever sexually molested your son? You answered no. The results for your lie detector test, the results came back all the same, and they came back that you, Sebastian, did not tell the <laughs> <laughs> Instead of fighting with him, he won't burn down with me. What you mean? Hey, yo, watch. I promise. Yo, come to the hood. I promise. Why about me? Why about me? Everything. And the fact that he said, right, the first thing he said was, I hope I pass. No, no person that's innocent They're going to be says confident. That. And he thought I wasn't going to come to the show because you, he know the type of person I am. You've done everything right. To, look at me. Listen to me. You've got to focus here. Don't get crazy here. I know. Don't do anything stupid because <laughs> you got kids at home. You need to go home. You need to get that case reopened. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm going to tell the same thing to you. You want to be in jail and not be there for your child? <laughs> and then some bad stuff happens to your kid? Use your brain. 
Don't let the, let the law take care of this. Let the police get involved. Don't take this in your own hands. Good luck to you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I was ready. My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.